Okay. Let's say you've made this marvelous light. Great shape, you've rendered it, you've got a glowy thing inside for the lights, piece of, in this case, green glass or green acrylic for the front, you're ready to go. And you're like, okay, I need to make this exploded. Hmm, okay. So step one, I need to move this part away from those parts. Okay. Then I realized that these four parts that I'm picturing building with four, nay, five separate pieces of wood are all joined. Okay, so I have to cut them apart because I made that out of a solid. So in order to split the body, I'm going to use some offset planes. Now, I'm going to do this one first. And I know the wood is four millimeters. So I'm going to go into the object minus four millimeters. And I can split this piece. I'm going to do that first. Split body. Split this body. With which tool? I'm going to split it with this plane. Ta-da. Okay. Now I have this separate from those. Now I need to separate each of these. No problem. I need another construction plane. Offset plane. Fabulous. I need minus four millimeters. And okay. Double check, get my angles. How does that look? That looks pretty good. I'm going to split that body again. Split that using which tool? This splitting tool. Yay. Okay, and you can see it only split the body I selected, not the back end. And because I want the back end going all the way across, that's why I cut this one first. Um, this I actually made separate after I shelled this body. So that's why it wasn't attached to begin with. Same, same. Oopsie, you can see my light poking out here to make that a little shorter. This and oops, construction plane, offset plane here, minus four. Right. And again, why the minus four? Because that is the actual dimension that we are working with for MDF. If we had different uh, thicknesses of wood, you could use a different thickness for your cut. But this is the reality of the situation. You want it to be able to fit together later. Okay, what am I doing? Splitting the body? Splitting this body? With which tool? This tool. Thank you very much. Okie doke. Now, I should have separate pieces, separate pieces that I can move around. Let's see how that goes. Now, I don't want to see the construction planes I just made, so I'm going to blink those. I certainly don't want them in any rendering uh, images that I have, so that was kind of annoying. So exploded view, right? That just means continuing to move things a little bit apart from each other. And now that we have done that. Oops, I guess I need to do one. Okie dokie. Move another one. Okie dokie. Move another one. Oops, grab an arrow. Okay. And let's do one more. I'm just gonna go up a little bit. We and I could probably put the well, the bottom's down far enough, I guess. The why are we doing this? Okay, we are doing this so that you can recognize these very things. That this will go together with those pieces. You need to understand which parts and pieces go where and how they fit together. Exploding the view will do that. If I hadn't done this, I wouldn't necessarily know how big these pieces of wood are going to be or come to grips with the fact that these angles are not straight. These are, if you look at this, there are some beveled edges in there. They're not all 90 degrees, particularly that one at the back. The problem with that is the laser cutter only cuts 90 degree angles. 
So we may have some trouble when we go to do this. Um, it may require a little bit of belt sanding to get it all to fit together. So just bear that in mind. So that is your exploded view. Yay! I'm going to leave this as a short screencast. Uh, and you would, oh, the only thing you would need to do, obviously, to get this into your slideshow is to take a couple of screenshots. Now, if I were doing this, I would probably take this screenshot. Oops, missed a corner, but still. And I might take a screenshot from maybe this view. We want at least a couple of different views to understand all of the parts, so we know we're not missing any. Um, you don't need to move them farther apart. You want to leave them in relationship to each other, so it doesn't make any sense to take the exploded view from the flat view that I'm, that I'm going to do in the next screencast. Um, but this works out very nicely, so that would be my recommendation. Good luck!